In this short video, we're gonna show you how to correctly adjust your vacuum relief and your pressure relief valves. The point of setting your vacuum relief valve and your pressure relief valve will ensure the longevity and life of your vacuum pump. We'll make sure everything's running at its optimal levels. It's like maintenance on a car, a little bit goes a long way. First step we want to take in adjusting your vacuum relief valve is make sure that all of your valves are closed, both your inlet and your dump valve. And then we want to come over, look at our vacuum pressure gauge and make sure it's reading zero. If it's not reading zero, it could indicate that it's a faulty gauge and would need to be replaced. We want to make sure the valve handle is in the neutral position, which will be indicated by the washer up on top. We'll want to get in the cab, turn the truck on, come over, engage our PTO, come back over and put the vacuum pump into vacuum mode. We'll want to come over and inspect your vacuum relief valve. Some vacuum relief valves will have caps on them. You'll need to remove the cap in order to adjust it. We have an air-cooled pump like the one here. They should be ran at 20 inches of vacuum. We have a fan-cooled pump, which can be ran at 22 inches of vacuum. We also have a water-cooled pump, which can be ran at 25 inches of continuous vacuum. Rule of thumb for operators, for every 1,000 feet in elevation that you're working at, your vacuum levels will decrease by one inch. To adjust a vacuum relief valve, we'll need two wrenches, one 17 and one 13 millimeter wrench. We'll take our 17 millimeter wrench and the 13 millimeter wrench, loosen your jam nut. To increase vacuum, we will turn your 17 millimeter wrench clockwise. To decrease vacuum, we'll turn it counterclockwise. Once we've reached the desired vacuum level based upon the gauge, we'll go ahead and tighten our jam nut back in place, setting the pump. We want to go through back and double check. We're going to put the pump into the neutral position. Go ahead and bleed your tank back down to zero. Once it's at zero, we can go ahead and put it back into the vacuum mode. Make sure that our vacuum relief is set where it needs to be. We've double checked everything. We make sure the vacuum levels are right. The last step is we'll go ahead, if applicable, to put the cap back on the vacuum relief valve. The steps of setting a pressure relief valve, we'll want to make sure that all of our valves are closed. Our tank is bled down to zero, which is indicated by your vacuum pressure gauge. We'll go ahead and take a 15 millimeter wrench and a pipe wrench. We'll loosen your jam nut here. To increase pressure levels, we'll turn it clockwise. To decrease pressure levels, we'll turn it counterclockwise. Massport recommends running the pump between five and seven PSI, but we will defer to the tank manufacturer for their specs. Once we have a good reading where our pressure needs to be, we'll go ahead and lock your jam nut back down. We're gonna go ahead and put the pump back into the neutral position, bleed the tank off, make sure it's back down to zero. While the pump is still engaged, go ahead and put it back into pressure mode. Make sure you're getting the correct reading. After we have our optimal pressure reading on our vac pressure gauge, that's all the steps in setting a pressure relief valve. Some of the warning signs are, if you're not getting the vacuum or pressure you normally get, if the gauge is running higher or lower than it should, it could be jammed up with debris. If the pump is starting to smoke or overheat, check the gauge. Keep in mind this could be related to another component though. Reasons why this is important? Setting the valves regulates how hard your pump is working. Having the settings correct keeps the heat down. It'll keep the pump consistent with the vacuum levels they need to be at. Different altitudes call for different levels to be set. Check the guide to know where it should be set according to location. You don't want to overpressurize the tank. Essentially, you would be creating a bomb. 
Setting your vacuum and pressure relief valves are quick and simple things to do, but they're necessary to make sure that your pump is running at its optimal level. For more information regarding your pump, please visit MassportPump.com or contact us by using the information on the screen.